Namaste. How's it going? Let me share with you a preparatory sequence for your asana practice. Yeah. It's common that when we practice uh, traditional techniques, as you hold the position, you might be feeling some stagnation, compression, you know, spasm, or you may feel your joints tighten that you cannot sustain holding the poses longer. It might be an issue of nerve compression, joint irritation. Yeah, so this sequence may help you prepare your body so when you hold those traditional techniques, yeah, you do them lightly. All right, so on our tummies. Yeah. This is actually how I prepare for my practice. So this is done ideally um, over a smooth, soft cushion, such as folded blankets, and then just folding one knee to the side, and then bend the other knee up, and then let that leg circle round. Matsyakri dasana, flat and fish. You may lift the thigh, adjust that side trunk long. And just rest, and then just allow your knees to circle around there. Yeah. Because most of the asanas, if not all, they actually um, come from um, the, the, the foundation of those asanas, mostly, if not all, are the hips. And so opening the hips is essential, but sometimes traditional hip openers could be quite intense for the joints, so preparing the joints. And just lightly circle, limping, you know, fanning the leg, and circle that foot, you know, pointing and flexing even the other leg too. But, and once you feel the openness, yeah, extend the legs and then just go flat as the earth. Hmm? You can open and spread the knee wide. You may turn your head and then just turn and position the head where the neck is soft and comfortable. And just maybe holding this for you know, a minute or longer if you need. And breathing mindfully, inspiring the breath in. Exhale the breath out. Let's stay. Good. Also in this position, since the gravity is assisting your lungs, yeah, so you can breathe lightly. And allow the lungs to expand and draw the sensation of the breath upwards. Yeah. You can also send yeah, some pressure of the breath to broaden the sacrum and then rub yourself down there so you can open the hips and the pelvic cavity, broaden inside. If you need to turn and change head, do that. Yeah, and then fold the knee again, circle around, yeah, find the leg. Yeah, you may even let the foot fall yeah, to the side. And then let that foot cross to the other side and swimming. Beautiful. All right, and from there, just turn over. So on your back this time. Good. Good. And then just allow your knees to sway from right to left, and then left to right open, and then drop, open and drop. Okay. If this is heavy for your head, you can place your hands under your head. All right. And then progress this one by lifting your feet. And then moving a little back already. Yeah. And then you may add this knee swings, breathing in. Exhale and change. All right. But be careful if you do this, yeah. If doing the knee swing, because this is an advanced technique, you, you feel yeah, the low back becomes slightly gritty yeah, or painful, yeah, just move from side to side. Okay. okay. And then from there, yeah, shift to one side, opposite hand to your inner thigh, and your free arm up or place them under the head. And then just move the top hip around, circular motion. And in here, we open now you know, the creases of perhaps you know, the sacrum, the inner leg, you know, around, and then hug and kick, 
hugging and releasing. All right. You can turn and then go again, open and swing again. One last. Beautiful. Okay. And then from here, back to the center, yeah, just cross the ankles and then gently move your body to a gentle rock in motion. All right, changing legs. Good. And then lightly hug and release. Hug and release. One more. Hugging and releasing. All right. Leg further away from me. Stretch forward. Leg closest to me hugs. And then twist that hip over. Okay. And then just open that arm out to the side. Yeah. And breathe, twisting, yeah, opening this uh, part of our sacrum. Mindful breathing again through the nose, inhaling. Through the nose, exhaling. Beautiful. All right, from there, roll on over again. So just roll on your tummy. All right. So you're going to end up with the first position, but this time is the other leg extended. All right. So lengthen the side, crawling it, and then opening that bent knee to the side. Uh, let your arms rest in the head, and then just circle that leg around. The sequence is also a restorative sequence, yeah, so creating um, mobility, you know, releasing stagnation, you know, correcting postural imbalances, alleviating you know, tension in the lower spine, the hips, and the sacrum, relaxing from the mind, kicking, swimming. Beautiful. All right. And extend. Yeah. You may open wide and rest flat. And then allow your breath to weigh you down. Exhale the tension out. Oh. Stay. Most of the time, it's either we're lying on our side or we're lying on our backs. Yeah. It's not often that we lie on our front side, the, the prone position. And the prone position is good for relieving tension in the lungs. Yeah. Allowing that fall of the gravity to weigh down. And that relaxes the lungs, the cardiorespiratory, even the heart there. Like you contour yourself on the soft shape of the blanket or even the floor, the carpet. And let the pressure drain out, decompressing the body, decompressing the brain. And then folding the knee. Beautiful. All right. And then flipping over again. Right. On your back. Yeah. Hugging, releasing, and circles. Right. And then fanning from side to side. You know I feel now. Yeah. More by low back. Okay, and then grab the other leg, so just turn, yeah. opposite leg now, yes, yeah, circle and rubbing, now you may open, so go as deep as you're comfortable there inside, like you want to move the inner thigh muscles away from the creases of the hips, so I stay, so like you're a pet dog, <laughs> they really open wide, so like you want to move, yeah, whatever stagnation there, yeah, clogging, the femur bone and the hip socket, yeah, and circling around there, yeah, rubbing in a circular motion, yeah, because most of the stagnation, the compression actually comes from there. Well, 
Uh, you can even move and hug your thigh and rub it away from your buttock. Mm -hmm. Breathe this one. Even the tongue there. Very right, open. Right, changing. Right, so no really uh, rule here. So just move and then feel your stagnation and then releasing. Okay, right, and we're twisting. Leg closest to me extends, and the other leg cross on top. Good. And you may look away. Beautiful. All right, on your tummies again. Uh, but this time, you're going to level the hips now. All right, and then just scroll the spine, extend the legs, right, crossing the forearms, folding the knees, and let them circle together. Hmm. Go ahead and moving down from side to side, falling and crossing, and you can lift the leg and the hips like this. And your mouth suspension to open the loose spine. And then circling, and side to side, and then swimming, kicking. Beautiful. All right. Extending. Yeah. Just shift forward. Right. Hands press, kneeling position. Yeah. Closing the knees. Sit back to your heels. And then just slide back. Crawl the spine, the shoulders forward. Inhale, hugging the knees to the midline, and as you exhale, closing the body down. Hmm? And we're going to give yourself a nice wiggle there. Beautiful. All right, and then from here, downward facing dog. Yeah, so lifting the hips. Yeah. If you're using the blanket, you might use one hand to release. As you're practicing flat, and you have bend and cycle, yeah, side to side the hips, and then circle around. Yeah. You're bending, walking, and stretching. All right, and then just step up halfway, exhale down, All right. inhale to stand. Good, and lifting, exhale, and from there, just fan from side to side. Yeah. Swinging, loosening yeah, the joints of the upper back and the hips, mobility around the core and the torso. From there, lifting the knee, circling it, and changing open. Good. And from there, shaking the legs, shake the hands. All right. Lift the hands and then marching and then lightly jump up and down. It is so at the top. All right. Circling, uh, and then just allow the legs to fan from side to side. From there, swing and wrap again. Random movements to free the joints. Yeah. Right. And from there, fan to the left. Circle down. Fan to your right, and circle down. And we do this few more times. We form the shape of the circle. And then the clock. Good. And we're going to spiral. All right. Swing left and right. You can wrap the arms. And as you turn and twist around. All right. Keep going. I have to breathe. Exhale to hug. Inhale, change. All right. And this time. Both hands spiral right hand side. You can lift the leg, bend down, and change. Or you can just keep your toes supporting you. Exhale down, inhale spiral. Exhale down, inhale spiral. Lift the leg. Try to balance now. Awakening your nervous system. One last time. All right, and completely. Yeah, and do again the side to side. All right, and marching the legs, 
roll the shoulders, yeah. swing the elbows, bend sideways, right. and circle the halves around, right. and then adding the shoulders too, as the half circle, yeah. you move the shoulders around too, right. and reverse. Okay, and then wrapping and singing, right? And then just jump up and down, blinking the hands. Beautiful, right? And then rubbing the legs down, and then upwards, and then back to our legs and feet. Right? And then come down sitting. Good. Feels like a complete complete one on its own, right? Good. So that gives you the energy, yeah, the energetic lift. You open the joints, you free stagnation. Now you're ready to practice your traditional elements. Catch you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Master.